This video is from the course Introduction. It's designed for complete beginners and assumes you have no knowledge of the subject matter. If you are interested in more beginner, intermediate or advanced content, check out our website submeta.io. When we finish the double leg takedown, we're going to end up in a position called side control. So you can see I'm side on here to live. And to establish this position properly, what I'm going to do is take my arm and block the far hip here, reaching my other hand around the hip. Holding onto the hip secures the position so that Liv can't make space here. If Liv's able to move her hips away, she's able to often get her feet back in front of me, which I don't want. So I secure the position, but I actually want to improve my position again. I want to get to the mount. So we're going to go through how to get to the mount from here. I always want something over the far side of Liv to stop her making that space, to stop her moving away. Now I'm actually going to get to mount, I'm going to be letting go of the hip and reaching onto the leg to do that. And in doing so, that could allow Liv to move away from me again. So to stop that, I'm going to change now with my right left arm over the top. I'm going to put my right arm over the top to hold her shoulder close. Okay. Now I switch my hips, we'll go through that in a moment and I can let go with my left hand to hold the leg. And from here, it's very difficult for Liv to make enough space to get her legs back in front. So I'm gonna to reach to the top of the leg and keep this space between her shoulder and her knee open. This is the space that I can start to step over and get into this position, which we call the mount. So my hand that's coming across the leg is blocking Liv from bringing, if you bring your knee close, I want to stop that using my hand and blocking the outside of the leg as well. I pull the legs together and I'm going to step over the top right next to the hip. Okay. You can imagine you're swatting a fly right next to your opponent's hip. I step here and then I pinch nice and tight with my foot, still blocking the hip as my knee drops down into the mount. Now it's really important that we switch our base. What I mean by that is I turn my hips side on and my bottom knee pinches the hip here. Okay. What this is allows, if you can look at my left leg, I have plenty of freedom to step over the top. Okay. When my hips are facing downwards, it's very hard. I don't have the same range with this left leg. It's gonna be very difficult to do that movement. So we're going to switch our base allow a lot of movement to step over the top so we can get to the mounted position. The common mistakes in going from side control to mount, one would be to not block the far side at all times. So to try to switch base without having a block here, which would allow Liv to escape her hips away and recover her legs in front. Another would be to try to step over without switching base where I don't have the same movement with my leg. Okay. This brings us to Liv trapping my leg between her legs, which makes it more difficult. She's got me in what we call the guard now, which we don't want. We wanted to get to mount. And our last common mistake is to do with that as well. When I step over, I really want to be blocking this leg and pulling it in. What I don't want to do is get it trapped between Liv's leg here. Okay. So I need to make sure I swing high in front of the legs. So I'm pulling in and blocking, and I want to make sure I come over the top. If Liv tries to catch my leg, I come over, not in a, a wide arc where she could actually trap that. Okay. You want to come in front and over the top to catch here, ensuring we can get all the way to the mount. So when we finish the double leg, we're going to change our control to the hip and reach around the head. Once we have that, we're going to take our arm over the far side, blocking the shoulder, switch our base, reach to the knee, pulling that in and blocking, step over onto the ground putting our knee down and getting the mounted position.
I hope you enjoyed this video from the course Introduction on submeta.io. If you go to submeta.io, you can watch this course for free, uninterrupted, with exercises to help you with recall. Also for free, we have the follow-up course to this, Foundations 1, Escapes, which builds on the content you'll be learning in this course.